Hello, all you angels out there. This is Chef Shonda and Angel Stuff. Kisses, how are you guys doing today? I am doing great. I am back with another mug banger. So today I'm so excited, you guys. Because becoming, you know, since I became a vegetarian, I have been craving my seafood boil and my seafood boil sauce. So I have a, a, like a new sauce today that I made up because I actually added more veggies to it. I think it's something called kimchi and it's like this, um, soaked, um, pickled cabbage and spices. I added some of that to it, some onions, some more spices, some lemon, some lime. So I'm excited to get these flavors back inside of me. So today I have, you know, a vegetarian boil. So I have the corn. I, okay, let me put my, I have my lemons, of course. Kind of let you see it. I have my lemons. I have corn. I have potatoes. I have the eggs. And I also have this pickled radish. Let me try to get it up out of here. So I have that. I'm trying that out. And then I also have Brussels sprouts and some broccoli. And I, of course, have the sauce smeared all over that. So that's going to be delicious. But I'm going to say my prayer. Thank you, Father, for this food I'm about to receive for the nourish my body. For Christ's sake, amen. Bless the hands that prepared it in Jesus' name. So... I'm so excited, like, to dig in. I told you guys, like, I make this food and anticipate digging in. So where must I begin? I don't even know what we're going to talk about today. Um, I can't give you an inspiration, and that is to follow your dreams. Don't let anyone stop you. Your dreams and what you believe in your heart has nothing to do with anyone else. So keep following your dreams. Keep living. If you're not following your dreams, you're not really living, just existing. So that's just my point of view. So you guys, um, I'm going to start out with this broccoli because I am so hungry. Have my sauce. Now the sauce was super hot. I'm hoping, oh, it is still super hot. Oh uh, my God. You guys see that? It is super hot. That's the broccoli and the sauce. Mmm. I cooked it just right. Mmm, that sauce good. I mean, I don't know if I've been craving the sauce or the seafood, because this sauce is satisfying the craving. So I have that Brussels sprouts. Sometimes I used to put I used to put Brussels sprouts in my seafood boils. As you guys see all these vegetables and herbs that we have in here. Ugh. So delish. That's hot. You see that steam? Mmm. That's so good. Let's try this egg. Mm -mm -mm. Put some a little bit of juice on there. Still gotta have the a little bit of that lemon juice. But some about these peppers and onions and that like cabbage up on top of there. I mean it's it's amazing. Can you guys see that? It's amazing. Mm, 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 mm. This is definitely satisfying the craving, you guys. Definitely. Mm, 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 mm. The one thing about it, I thought that I would, but I haven't really been missing the meat. Excuse me. Have my drink off to the side. Oh. 
Oh, that's so good. It's just some orange mixed with some mango, like passion fruit juice. Really good. Sorry about that. Excuse me for that big cough. You know, I still have peppers in here. You know, the uh, crushed red peppers in here. And the kimchi that is has spices in it. So every once in a while, you know how those spices hit you in your throat. But here's that broccoli. Can you see that? I don't want to bring it through. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh! I knew it. Mmm. One of the things about me, I love flavors. Different flavors. Look at that potato. Got that potato right there. I mean, it's the sauce. Everything goes in the dip sauce. A, A, in the dip sauce, dip sauce. Everything goes in the dip sauce. Mm. So good. Look at that onion. Now the sauce is hot, right on my finger. But mm. Mm. You get those flavors of all the onions and that cabbage. Look at that. I love flavor. That's why I think it's going to be fun to cook vegetarian, to learn new dishes, because I just love combining flavors and just learning out about new vegetables that I haven't even eaten before. Mm. That's really good. Look at that. Definitely satisfy my craving. Oh, you have no idea. Do I miss the meat? I don't know. It's, it's not something I crave. Like how you crave chocolate or different things like that. That's a piece of corn, you guys. And I have the cabbage and the onions and stuff up on top of there. That's so good. And I love the fact that I'm getting used to this, all the spices. Starting to like a little bit more food, a little bit more spicier. Excuse me. Mm -mm. This is fresh corn. I went to the store to get some frozen, but they were all out. So I was surprised they were all out, but they had fresh, so. Got fresh, so good. Now we're gonna try this radish. Now this is a pickled radish. Now I did slice it and I, I did try a piece of it already. It is really good. And, I, and it comes in a package of three and they're pickled. So my first time, you know, trying it was today, but I'm gonna put these spices up on top of here like so, to give it even more seasoning. Mm. 
I actually never had a whole radish like this before. I usually have it cut down. You know, they usually be cut down. I should have cut this one into smaller pieces because it's kind of, the outside layer is a little bit harder than the inside layer is a little bit softer, but Almost like a pickle. I'm gonna put you in the mind of a pickle, but it's not, but not deal. You know, it's not sour. It's good though. Mm. It's hard though. Mm. So good. Don't mind the sniffles. You guys know that spicy food does that to me, but I'm learning that it's still delish. Still good. Now this broccoli is really good. It's really good. Get those spices up on top of there. Mm. Of course, Brussels sprouts I love. Mm. The egg. The egg. Mm. Look how good that is. The egg. Mm. And the kimchi is really good. Between that, like I said, and the crushed red pepper makes it real spicy. Mm. Mm. Potato. Potato. So how have you guys been? I've been great. It's a nice day outside. I love the sun shining and stuff. My flowers are doing good. I didn't get a chance to my garden this year, but I'm prepping the ground, you know, for a great garden to be next year. But it's a nice breeze outside actually today. It feels really great. Got that potato. Mm. Mm. Got that bay leaf. Let me get that bay leaf out of there. I have to put a little bit of bay leaf in my sauce. Man, this is good. This is definitely hitting the spot. This is definitely hitting, you know, the urge for the seafood boil. It's so good. Thank you guys for stopping by, chopping up with your, with your girl. <clears throat> if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button to be notified when I come back with another video. And for all my subscribers, say what's up to your girl. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I will respond to each and every comment.
But I have a blast on here with you guys. Let me get this corn. I can't tell you which vegetable is the best today. Because you guys know, as I've probably stated in the past, the ones that have watched me that, my favorite part of the boils used to be the sausage. And probably the corn. Oh, and probably the lobster tail. <laughs> but amazing, delish. But you guys, you know, stay tuned with me, guys, and I will, as I learn new and ex more new and exciting dishes, I'm going to share them with you guys. That's good. <sighs> so good. So, what have you guys been up to? Me, I'm just, I don't know, what can I... say just trying to encourage people on a daily basis I'm excited my daughter you know she graduated with her bachelor's but she's back in school to get her master's so I'm so excited about that you know I just told her you know sky is the limit you know, achieve whatever you feel like you can achieve. You know, I'm so proud of her already, but if you want to go above and beyond and keep going, the sky's the limit for her. So I'm so excited about that. I have an anniversary coming up. Hopefully, hubby will do a anniversary mukbang. Hopefully, hubby will, you know, come on to enjoy. He'll probably eat some meat, though, you know. And I'll probably eat something vegetarian, but we'll be sharing it together. <laughs> So good. I'm getting so full. Mm. So, <clears throat> you know, keep trying to live a great life, keep inspiring people. Keep being a blessing to your neighbor and to all the people around you. And never forget what God has done for you. Always stay in a state of thankfulness and thanking him and praising him each and every day. Whew. Jesus, I never forget. So, you guys just be encouraged. Be blessed. And be a blessing to someone and come back to my channel um, as I create new and exciting dishes for you guys to try and you guys can just see you know go along with me on my journey and take this journey with me and so far so good so far so good I've been truly blessed I can't complain I've been able to eat some great food you know without it being, you know, any meat to be a vegetarian, I'll be able to eat some great food. So, take this journey along with me. Leave me a comment, you guys. 
Till next time, you guys. Chef Shonda and Angel Stuff. Kisses. I love you guys. Bye-bye.